Hey, welcome to the show. My guests today say love doesn't always come easy, so you have to work hard to get it. Please meet C.W. He says that he isn't a spring chicken, but that won't stop him from getting his woman. <laughs> do you really say that? <laughs> I sure do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of other things, but... Yeah. So, C.W., uh, where in New York are you from? I'm not from New York. No? I am, I am from Georgia. Oh. I'm a redneck hillbilly from Georgia. <laughs> and uh, so uh, it's nice to have you here. Uh, sorry about the war. Uh, so tell me, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> what, <laughs> what about, so why are you here? Yeah, what's going on? Well, I'm here to try to get this lady that I've known ever since she was a little girl. I've known her all of her life. And, yes. Uh, we started messing around with each other here a few months ago, and I fell in love with her, and I want her, because we do a lot of hunting and fishing and <laughs> camping and stuff like that, and she, she's, she goes along with all of it. She's oh, real she likes good. to hunt and fish, too. She sort of, well, here, here a few weeks ago, well, about three months ago, we went deer hunting. We was in, uh, in the stand, up in the deer stand. Yeah. She's dressed in camo with her orange vest and all on. Oh, and, turn me on, baby. Oh, boy, let me, tur <laughs> let me turn you. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah. I reached over and I kissed her, and the next thing I know, we was tearing each other's clothes off and we just made mad, passionate love up in the deer stand. <laughs> I guess she didn't get, get much deer that I day. I didn't get a deer <laughs> one that day. I got deer, but not that kind of deer. Yeah. Uh, Now, why is this a problem? Why are you here? I mean, I'm happy for you, good, but... I am here to, to tell her that I want her to move in with me, but there's, a, there's one problem with it. What's that? She has got an 18-year-old punk boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, if she's got a boyfriend, why are you sleeping with her? Because I love her. But does it, her boyfriend love her? That's his problem. <laughs> These are the rules of Georgia. I don't know about that kind of rules, but I know it's his problem. Okay. Now, wh who does she want? What does she say? Because she well, obviously told you she has a boyfriend. Oh, yeah. And what does she say? Well, she tells me she's going to leave him and, and move in with me, but uh, I'm here to find out for sure today what's oh, going on. Oh, because she could just be leading you on. Wh who does she live with now? Uh, him. Oh. Mm. Maybe, maybe she's with you just because she likes your gun, your... Uh... Well, <laughs> no, not only that, uh, I raise, I raise game chickens and... <laughs> I raise game chickens and bulldogs oh. and Ooh. stuff like that and... Yeah. I'm just an outdoorsman and... Yeah. Okay, well, good. Uh, so you're finding out whether she's playing you or whether she really wants to be with you. Now, does, what, when she's with you, what does she say? Does she say that she loves you? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. And she says she's going to leave this other guy. How long has she been with him? Uh, about a year. About a year. And uh, how old is she compared to you? Uh, well... Because you said he's 18. That's why I'm asking. She's 30. Oh, so she's older. Yeah, okay. Older than, so she's right in between you two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could say that. I hope there's that. enough room in that deer place. <laughs> yeah, you could say that, but. Yeah. Now, when, when you're hunting deer, aren't you supposed to be really quiet? You're supposed to be real quiet. So making love didn't help you out, did it? Not at that moment, <sighs> it didn't. Not for the deer. Yeah. But it helped out a lot, but not for the deer. Yeah. How long does it take to get all that clothing off? I mean, because it seems like when you go deer hunting, it's, it's pretty cool outside. It, it don't take long. Yeah. It, just depend, it just depends on what kind of clothing you got on. Yeah. Is that common? Because I don't go deer hunting, but is, is that common? It's I mean, common from where I'm at, yeah. It must be great news for the deer. I don't know about that. <laughs> you guys are so busy making love, no one's being shot. If I was a deer, I'd probably try to fix you up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that would probably work then. <laughs>
All right. So who's this guy? Oh, what's his name? Bobby Joe? That's, that's his name. All right. How well do you know him? Have you? How well do I know yeah. him? I know him pretty well. Oh, okay. Does, uh, like, okay. And is he aware of any of this? Not that I know of. Oh, well, he is now because what? Uh -oh. he's, he's backstage, I assume. Yeah, we paid our bills, so there's a TV back there. He's probably watching. <laughs> All right, here's Bobby Joe. <laughs> Why would you do that? We know that you, you know me all my life. Today is our 15th anniversary. I what? And you do that? I love her, son. What can I say? I've been, been uh, everything I do, you I love do. her. I do love Man, her. Man, I did three miles worth of begging. I can't help how many miles you done for begging, son. <laughs> <laughs> You know me all my life, C.W. You know her all her life. That's right. How long did you have to beg, huh? I what, didn't beg. What's no. this begging? I, I ain't never beg. I'm missing it. Time out. What's the begging? You begged her to be with you? Uh, one night she was at my mom, Jerry's. Yeah. And uh, she didn't have no ride home. Yeah. Her car had run out of gas. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> no, I thought I'd walk her home. We started walking. I got to talking to her. I begged her for three miles to give me one chance. She was like, no, 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 I don't know about this, you know. You're only, I was only 16 at the time. No, 17, my fault. Yeah, and it's then, okay, you're forgiven, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so, okay, and you, you, you begged her the whole way home. The whole way. Yeah, I believe you, yeah. Now, once she got her home, she then said what? Well, she said, we'll give it a shot and, you know, really don't know what would happen. And how long you been with her now? Today is our one year anniversary. Oh, happy anniversary. Aww. But. <laughs> uh, CW is here, CW with the uh, long hair. Uh, and the, uh, the, the camouflage shirt is, I guess, what you would call it. Uh, but anyway, he is here uh, because he's, you've said you've fallen in love with this young woman. That's right, Jerry. Uh, but the thing is, the young woman has a boyfriend who happens to be you, uh, Bobby Joe, and you, you're saying this is your one-year anniversary. Yes, sir, it is. Okay, and you had no idea that he was, even though you I know him. I had no idea. You've known him your whole life. Yes, sir, I have. Wow. And yet, that, wouldn't that stop you from kind of doing that? I mean, if you've known each other, wouldn't you feel bad about doing that? No, sir. <laughs> okay, well, let's there meet. There ain't nothing to feel bad about. Well, except that you're hurting him. You're going to feel bad here in a minute when your nose is laid open. <laughs> It's a good thing there's no bear hunting going on. Let's go.
Standing eight count. One, One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You ready? You ready? Can we get back in there? Let's go. Come on. Get up. All right. CW. There you go. Well, at least you're looking good. So here's. So I look good all the way. Yeah, I know you do. So, uh, <laughs> what is gonna? What is you intend to stay with this young lady? Even. I won't try everything I can. Okay. I bet you money she ain't going home with you. Well, okay. I think all of a sudden we have a wet short contest. CW, uh, well, they both seem pretty tired right now. Uh, <laughs> CW here, uh, and uh, CW is fa has fallen in love while hunting uh, with Mary Jane. Uh, the problem is that Mary Jane, for the last year, has been going here with Bobby Joe. And boy, what a choice she has to make. Uh, but you don't care that you've known him your whole life. You you like her, you love her, you want to be with her, let the chips fall where they may. And you're saying you're really unhappy with your girlfriend because you thought she was your girlfriend and she's cheating on you. Yes, sir. And you're ready to kick her out the door. No. No. No, I ain't going to do that. That's what he wants, dear. No, oh, so you're going to stay with her even yeah. though she's not faithful to you. Yeah. Okay. We're going to show you she ain't going home with you. How long has she been sleeping with you? About six months. Six months this has been going on? That means half the time that she's been with you, she's, now when does, oh, this, are you aware that she goes out hunting? Where are you when she's hunting? Well, Jerry, I stay out real late playing video games. I sleep real late during the day. <laughs> and, I, and I get her to go to the store for me, you know. Yeah. And then she stays Oh, those video games, while, they can keep you, know, you up, I, yeah. I never even thought this, I really didn't. Yeah. I thought, you know, she may have got caught up in a traffic jam or something like that, you know. I really trusted the girl. I mean, don't any of y'all trust y'all's girlfriends? Come on, y'all. Well, you're not going to trust her much anymore. Uh, probably not. Yeah. All right, well, let's bring her out. Here is Mary Jane. <laughs> When I first met you, you were mature. Two months later, you act like a five-year-old. I am not in it to raise another son. Is that right? That's right. You stay up till 3 o'clock in the morning playing games and then sleep all day. What do you expect me to do? You want me at home cooking and cleaning, you're washing my, your you're clothes. You're my girlfriend. You're supposed to do that. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It don't work Bobby Joe way. doesn't know. You are going to have to step up. You're going to have to start taking care of yourself because I am not about to raise another kid. Is that right? That's right. Well, why have you raised me this long then, huh? 
Huh? Uh, it looks like I was having my cake and ice cream too for six months of that, don't it? Why are you, first of all, what attracted you to, a, at the time, a 17-year-old boy? Well, uh, he's cute, but uh, yeah. he had to beg me to go out with him. I didn't want to go out with yeah, him. I heard Three that, miles so. worth of begging. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Three miles. Yeah, if he had a car, it only would have been five minutes, but That's yeah. Right. I was tore up at the time. Yeah. So, uh, now, how did, how did you wind up uh, in the deer, uh, what do you call it? Deer stand. In a deer stand with, with, the old with man. CW. Oh, man, boy. You ain't nothing well, but a young uh, punk. Like I, I bet say, you can't hang with this young punk. <laughs> Do more with that young punk than he thinks. Okay. Like I say, he yeah. sleeps constantly. Yes. When he's not sleeping, he's not paying any attention to me. Get on your feet. So, your um. Feet. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Put this in. You got your mouthpiece in? You got your piece in? You guys ready? Let's go. Okay, so we have Mary Jane. Mary Jane, you had an 18-year-old boyfriend here, uh, Bobby Joe. Yes, sir. Uh, you cheat after going with him for six months. You start cheating on him by sleeping here with C.W., who is uh, an older man. He says he's 50 years old, but you like hunting. So he takes you hunting, and so you start sleeping with him while he's hunting. Yeah. And but now we find out there's Charlie, and Charlie, you are CW's son. Yes, sir. And you're sleeping with her also. Yes, sir. Dad, did you did you know that? No, sir. I sure didn't. Did you know that Dad was sleeping with? Yes, sir. Who slept? Who did you sleep with first? Uh, CW. Oh, so you were sleeping with C. So you knew that she was sleeping with your dad, yes, and sir. then you decided to sleep with her. Yes, was sir. that a little awkward, or no, sir? <laughs> CW, what do you want? What do you want to say to your son? Son, you ain't but 29 year old. I'm 50. You could have any other lady in the world that you wanted. Why you want to come in between me and her? Well, it's like this right here. Ever since I was born, you ain't been around. You ain't never been a father figure to me. That, that, that's not my fault now, so. The feelings I've got for Mary Jane don't matter about you no more. Yes, it does. No, it I love Mary Jane, son. I love son. her to death, too. I've known her ever since I've been in, went to school with her. Well, I, I know her I know her ever since. She, let's just put it I know her mom and daddy. How matter. about that? That don't matter who you know. Well. All right. I know my feelings. And, and on top of that, she cooks my favorite foods so, and everything. Okay, let's talk to the one person that's been with all of you, uh, Mary Jane. Uh, you're just plowing through the family here. Uh, what, what do you have to say about this? Well, um, I went to see CW one day, and I was really upset. Yeah. And he wasn't at home, but Charlie was there. And I got to talking to him, and... Um, he was real consoling to me and, you know, just he understood what I was going through and, you know. What were just, you going through? Well, um, me and Bobby had got into an argument. Um, he had went to his dad's and stayed there for a while, for about two days. So I was really upset. I thought he wasn't coming back. So, uh... Why don't we start here with C.W.? I'm going to give you all a chance to make the plea. Mary Jane, you know I love you. You cook my favorite foods for me. You cook squirrel dumplings for me. You cook frog legs. You cook possum. You cook coon. You cook deer meat. And you know I love you. I got a trailer over in the country. I don't have no power of water or nothing in it. I'll put everything in it for you if you'll just move in with me. <clears throat> a trailer with power. You know I love you. Uh, I, I'll make your plea. Then you well, can answer. It's like this. I've known you about all my life. We have grown up together. Went to school and everything else. I, mean, I was kind of leery about telling you how, much, how I felt about you during school and stuff. You always had somebody and I always had somebody. The last month, things got a little different. We was together and now you know how I feel about you. And you know I love you. You know I've got a good job. I work every day. 
I've got a house, I've got a truck, I've and got everything you need. And power? I got power, I got cable. <laughs> I've got it all, Jerry. And anything you want, you know you can get, I'll get it for you. And I really love you a whole lot, and I wish you'd come home and stay with me. Mary Jane, please. <laughs> Give me one more chance, please. Just one more. You got me this <laughs> chance the first time. Look how long we've been together. Look how long you went without cheating on me. Just one more chance. Uh, I'm not sure that I can do that. Why? What are you doing with your life? I really don't know yet. When are you going to find out? Ten years from now? When I go back now? to school? When I'm old? When I'm in the nursing home? Then you're going to find a, you know, a job? Probably so. Do you want to talk a little help. louder? <laughs> okay. So why ain't it gonna help? I'm not gonna need it then. I'm gonna be in a nursing home. <laughs> I ain't even man. Okay, you've heard the pleas from these three fine gentlemen. Um, and now it's time for you to make a decision. Um, Jerry? Mary, you know how I love you, babe. I sell, I sell Rooster $1,500 a pop just for you. Come on out. Come on out. Come up. Come up. Please, please. No fighting. No fighting. Put him in line. Put him in line. Nice to hand. Stand between. No fighting on this. Just, you're going to make a decision here. Um, I believe I'm going to have to choose CW. I mean, hey. Hey, YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.